Okay, guys, welcome back. More adventures here continues today. Um, not feeling too well. Something's going on with my sinuses, and I'm getting a lot of drainage and all that jazz. So uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. See how long I can hold out my voice and stuff like that without clearing my throat too much and you know sniffling and stuff like that and being a distraction. So yeah, we're gonna try to work on some tasks here in Cod Cherno. And then I don't know, we'll see. I probably need to set up some more support vehicles in the meantime. So let's uh let's get started here. Yo, XT, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that you started playing again after break. Stumbled across my YouTube. Oh man, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Oh no worries, Salem. Thank you for stopping in, man. Yes, the Mastodon does release tomorrow. And also, um, pertaining the new map that is coming out. Um, I don't think from my sources it's going to be a three map region for season 10. That actually might be a season 11 or 12. From what I can't say who I've heard this from, but from some sources that I cannot disclose. I believe it's just going to be a two map region, so I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's why I just don't get too excited about things that people say online. Because it's like, you know, who knows? You hope Mac doesn't have a dead axle? Yeah, honestly. Yeah, sorry about that ad pop up. But thank you, XT. I'm glad uh, I'm glad you found the channel. Glad it's been useful, man. That's awesome. So uh, let's let's jump in here and get started. Let's see, yeah. I think the Mac, if it's the Mac Defense, what I'm talking about, I think it's gonna be an eight x eight. But it's only it only has one uh, one axle in the four part of the truck. So I think that. The back three axles are going to be powered, kind of like the, um, uh, I would say, I don't know if we really have anything in the game like that right now. Um, the closest thing I could probably say is like the 5600 TS, except there's, there's not, um, a twin steer in the front. So it's going to be a single axle. So, I mean, who knows? Who knows? So. All right. to minimize that cool all right guys let's see here heavy duty i'm gonna have to do that i'm gonna have to do that too this is gonna have to happen this is gonna require wood and the wood is gonna have to come from Osmo, what's up, Naked Dave, man? I am kind of excited for the update. Um, I heard a rumor that the next map region is going to be three maps. Uh, however, from my sources that I cannot disclose, I, I don't think it's going to be three maps. Oh, 
gosh, I, I know I gotta go get these at some point, man. <clears throat> so. An all-American truck playthrough? Play yeah, I, honestly, I kind of essentially did that a little bit in, uh... Well, let's see. Well, not here in, like, an endgame map, but I kind of did that toward my all-American playthrough with max power. Um... My randomizer playthrough was pretty much all American trucks. But yeah, it, that definitely would be a fun playthrough. Very, it would be very tough. It just it requires a ton of time. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm trying to think what I do first here. I know I need to do this. This needs to happen. Um real quick I think I think we do this and then um I almost think potentially go do these maybe nothing to see here uh, yeah I guess so that's essentially what I think we're gonna do and we're gonna use the cat so yeah Turn down my volume just a tad. It's a little bit too loud here. We'll try to take the shortcut down too. Yeah, I'm kind of excited for the update tomorrow. Um, sadly, I won't be able to check it out when it releases. I'll be at work, so it's probably going to be something that I, I look at later in the day. So, yeah, we'll definitely check it out. If it's available, I might break it out here on hard mode. Yo, cool hand, Luke, welcome in. Which, which dairy would I consider... A, a workhorse delivery truck. Oh man, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the dairies. I like them all. I think my favorite one is is probably going to be the 4520, but uh, I think it depends on your playstyle. If, if you want to use crane and a sideboard bed, your probably best bet is going to go with the uh, dairy special 15 Charlie. But, yeah, I think it just depends. Not bad. Actually, it's not bad speed through here. This is like a little bit of a shortcut. Very easy coming down, but going back up is not too nice. So we're going to go grab these uh, oversized cargo, which I neglected to grab here whenever I was uh, using the Zix on the last episode. There's a dead axle. <laughs> so we'll go do this now. Cool, grab some fuel on the way out. I'm just gonna auto load this and not I don't care about paying for it right now. However, as a disclaimer, I do recommend um, loading it yourself if you're playing in the early game like Michigan, Alaska, Tamir. I think saving as much money as you can in those part those parts. It's very advantageous. I think as you as you move through the maps it's it becomes less uh less of a factor I guess you would say
So yeah, I'm super excited for the new Mastodon. Um, Dave, I'm gonna have to like, uh, I'll probably be pinging you about about little certain things because I'm probably gonna try to put it through some my own testing, and then um, yeah, I'll probably be like asking you a bunch of questions about it. So be ready for that. Best American long hauler? Long log hauler? Ooh. That's a good question. Honestly, uh... You got your patch day checklist ready? Nice, man. Yeah, I, honestly, I had a little, a little discussion on um, the PTS server last night. You probably saw it. Or the PTS discussion board about power to weight. I think someone said that the uh, the dairy special didn't have um, enough power to weight, but the answer XT's question, I, I think, honestly, man, I would say a truck that has good power and good balance. Because here's the thing, man, a long, long logs are a little bit different. They, they almost act like you have a, uh, a semi trailer. So a lot of your balance is coming from just creating, creating angles, but yeah, you can use a lot of good, a lot of trucks for, for long logs. I think it just depends on how much you want to put up with. So, and the new Dairy Special was pretty darn good at it. Um, I think the Dairy 4520 is a pretty good option. I even have used uh, P16. I've used the P12. Um... You're just worried for late game yeah honestly man like i think a lot of trucks can handle long logs i think what you'll run into is a little bit of issues with power with the p16 and the p12 just because they're so darn heavy and then long logs are i think the heaviest single cargo in the game currently i, I believe unless that's changed so you know you add a ton of weight to vehicles that are already kind of uh, power starved and yeah you're just gonna have a little bit of issues but I definitely have done it I've used both of them here on hard mode but yeah even like a pace 5600 TS is gonna crush it trucks that have really good engines man that's really what what you want because you're gonna drive traction from just putting weight on your wheels I even like using the Paystar. Quick question, Nate. What truck should I use for the wide flatbed trailer hauling airplane parts at the end of Cola? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, You're not restricting yourself in any way, Salem, are you? Do you have any restrictions? Or is it just, hey, what's the best? Yeah, man, anytime. I honestly, like, I feel like a, a lot of times when I'm answering questions, um, I'm not directly pointing to a truck in specific. So I, I do I do believe a lot of trucks can handle that job. And we, we all have our own opinion about, you know, what truck can handle what the best and such, but... Oh, shoot. I gotta turn. I'm, I'm losing an angle. Russian trucks only. Okay, so right now you probably have... You probably have the Tega. You probably have a Voron or two. Um, I'm guessing you have a... I'm guessing you have a Kolob. I would say if you have a Kolob... I would use a coat log. Coat log will handle it pretty well. I pulled it with the Dan, honestly, man, and, and it wasn't too bad. Um, 
thing is that trailer and just cola in general I, I needed more ground clearance and the Kolob still sits pretty high you don't have either of the Kolob brothers okay what Russian trucks do you have Okay, task one done here in what, 15, 17 minutes time? Yo Seth, welcome in man. I did, I heard there's an update tomorrow with the, the Mastodon and then they're doing some bug fixes as well as like the water and stuff like that. Thanks for your help, spring is coming and next time we'll find someone else. Sweet, okay. So check this out guys. We're going to go do um, Heavy Duty and Dream Car. Yeah, so I think that's that's the call here. Heavy Duty and Dream Car. It's Bad Luck Charm. I want to see what Bad Luck Charm is. Deliver the Hummer to the repair station. You know... I might be able, I might just do this now. I do have a I do have a bandit here now, but I think he's gonna run out run out of fuel here soon. Dang, I wish this fuel carrier was up here. Which I probably could go get. You know, we're gonna go do that right now with the uh the bandit. He's almost out of fuel. So what we'll do is we'll go up here, come down. Grab this fuel tanker. And get him back up here. Actually, we'll th get this fuel tanker. And then we'll just go grab this bad luck charm and do that. And then we'll jump back in the, the cat. So you got your 64131, the Tega King, and all the Voron brothers, Dan and Croc. Okay. Um, I mean, I've done it with the Dan. You probably can get away with doing it in the Tega or the Vorons, to be quite honest. I mean, if you want something with with more ground clearance for the, the wide bed, um, I think a Kolob. At, at the point you're at, depending on if you're playing it, like, chronologically, yeah, I, I mean... A collab is going to work. So far, I've pulled the rocket, or not the rocket, the plane with the Dan. The 64131. Uh, I, I want to say I pulled it with the P12 at one point. Or it might have been the P16. I'm not sure. But, I mean, you can do it. But, I mean, my recommendation to you is uh, if you don't want me to spoil routing, which I'm probably already going to do right now. Mm, man, honestly, how did I pull this? Did I pull this down? I think I pulled this. Honestly, man, I think I pulled this down to the shoreline and then I pulled it all along here. And then there's a way you can get through these trees, whether it's around this and then turning or coming around this way or just driving straight through and then going through the trees and then just parking it here, which you can see it's still there. This is empty, but yeah, that's that's essentially what I did. Um, Going through this area here, you j you're just going to get stuck. Uh, you can cheese it with like just using a crane and just literally getting a crane a large crane picking up the plane and then just literally taking the plane through here because it's not going to catch because you have it on a crane driving here throwing it down packing it turning it in you could do that that is a cheese way of doing it um but if you're not a cheeser then yeah all the way to the beach then east yeah
But I have done it through the trees, and if you look on my YouTube, there's definitely um, the YouTube short where where I uh, I tried to unpack the cargo to get it to just kind of like glitch through the trees, and the the freaking fuselage just like took off like a hundred and fifty feet in the air and did like fumbles, which was kind of funny, but yeah, that happened. Okay, so reposition this fuel trailer. Hopefully this thing is full. I think it is. I know the one over at the sawmill or the plant. I think at the plant is only half. It's probably less than half full, so. This is going to be a very, a very interesting task to do. Oh, I thought it was like angled this way. Okay, never mind. It's uh over here. Yeah, I, I think on Route Runner. Um, I think when I made that, my routing was through that that gap. But I would definitely take the coast. Coastline is going to be for that mission alone. The coast is going to be the bet, your best bet. My top three trucks on the current meta. It's a conflict. Okay, whatever. So. My top three. I mean, I, I don't like it. This is. So if you've been watching my YouTube at all, um, I don't really like answering those type of questions because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people based upon what I'm going to say are just going to tr use those trucks alone. And I, here's what I'm saying, man, is like, I can give you the top three and I'll give you my top three. All I'm saying is like, I played the game for about 800 hours just using top three. And the game got super boring to me. But I think top three, I can give you the top trucks in the game. One, number one is going to be the Zix 605R, period. Um, that's kind of like my, that's a, I think that should be an objective truth on SnowRunner right now, pending what the Mastodon looks like tomorrow, which we, we don't really know. Okay. We don't rightly know what the, the Mastodon is going to look like tomorrow. Um, how much torque it's going to have, how much it's going to weigh, what's its tire property is going to be, etc. All those things compared to the Zix 605R. Um, I think the Dairy Special is very high on that on my list. However, I don't think it's top three. Um, I think the next truck that's probably in the number two spot. Um, you, these are probably completely switchable. I think number two, number two has to go to the Azov seven three two one zero because it's has a ton of power. Um, with the active suspension, it's super nice. It's one of the more versatile, stable vehicles. Um, it's just awesome. And then I think number two and number three, you probably probably could. Um, shoot, you know what? I'm doing the wrong thing here. Number two and number three, you probably could switch switch around and say like a, the Tega six four five five B, the Tega um, six four three six, depending on if you like doing low saddle or um, flatbed crane sideboard bed combo or sideboard hitch trailer combo you either could put the into the equation another azov truck you could throw in a boron if you want i mean it's all it's all dependent on those things but i mean even the pace r5600 ts is is quite incredible even though it does burn a lot of fuel but you can get around fueling it it's quite a vehicle so 
Hopefully that answered your question. But it's, I mean, it's kind of hard to rank trucks like in like a top three because whenever I rank them, I rank them by category and it's kind of weird. I rank them for my tier list in categories, though so, um, I try to keep that all into perspective. It is the oldest truck in the spin tire series, yeah. That is true. I didn't know that until um, a little bit after they released it. Uh, yeah, you missed that part, snack pack. The Zix is number one right now. Currently, the Zix is number one. I mean, it could get dethroned here. Uh, tomorrow, it could get dethroned. But I think there has to be a couple things to be checked off that list to potentially get dethroned. Mastodon has to be freaking great, man. It really does have to be amazing <laughs> to, to surpass the Zix right now. Let me see if there's any fuel in this guy. All right. You were not expecting to hear my, my voice on the Spin Tires history with SD1? Yeah. Yeah, that was that was kind of a, a hard project to do because, you know, we're not in the same geographical location. Uh, you know, me, Max Power, Max Power lives in Canada. I'm not really sure where SD1 lives. I know it's probably in Europe or somewhere like that. So it's just kind of tough because, you know, we really never had any type of phone conversations like I like I did with uh, like Max Power to, to, you know, touch base with. But we still had pretty good communication. Shoot, what's going on here? Okay. But yeah, it was fun. It was a fun project. I think it just, uh, for me, a lot of speaking on videos, it just wears me out. So I, I was happy to do it. I definitely was. I thought it was a really good project to do. You hope the Mack truck takes the throne? American bias, yeah. I, if ever, if you know me, man, I'm pretty much a bias for American trucks, honestly. It's not that I, I'm biased, it's just I, I like using... I like rooting for the underdogs, I guess, and... It's pretty much, I'm gonna say this this term, this, uh, this phrase, objective truth. I think the objective truth is the Russian trucks are better than the American trucks in this game. It's just... Simply put, I mean, there's no refuting it, but I mean, it feels good to play an American truck and do well. If you get what I'm saying, like, I mean, at a certain point, like I can use an Azov or like a Tega and just press the gas trigger and manipulate this a little bit here, kind of like, you know, the bandit here. I'm not really having issues. I can. I don't really need to winch because I have the balloon tires. I'm going to go slow, but still, I'm just kind of making my way through it. Not really any worries. But I don't know. With American trucks, like, they're just more finicky. Tough to use. As you can see, I left that fuel trailer behind. That'll have to be something I come back for. But yeah, like I always say, man, like if you can get away with using um, trucks to challenge you, please do. I think I think you'll have a lot of satisfaction in the game. I think when people say the game gets boring. I don't want to say nine times out of ten. I don't even want to say eight times out of ten, but I, I would say probably like six times out of ten. They're using really good trucks and you know, just holding down the gas trigger. But here, the, there's always the there's always the uh, the argument though, like, hey, like, look what you're using now, which I am using very good trucks, but this is a more shoot. Sorry about that. That was weird. 
I think it more is like an exception to the rule. I mean, you'll see how much I'm going to struggle in like very moderate areas where other trucks just destroy. You're doing an all-American run? You're having a time of your life? Yeah, that sounds awesome. The good thing about that is, if you do an all-American run on like hard mode... Ooh. You... Oh, oh man, I probably have to repair this, I think. I do think I have to repair this as a second stage. I hope not. Um, Doing hard mode... Or even any mode... With like, just using American trucks... You know, you can make a lot of money just selling, you know, multiple Tatras and stuff like that. Birdman, welcome in, man. I'm doing well. I'm just, I'm feeling kind of, uh, I've been sick this last week, man. It's, it's, it's weird. Um, my sinuses have been really bad. And so I'm kind of like constantly clearing my throat. And yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. Oh, nice. Thanks. I owe you. Sweet. All right. So I'm going to get back out here to the road. I want to get this trailer back. At least to the road. Okay. Yeah, I want to get this, this trailer back to the road, so we're actually going to go down and get this thing again. Yeah, I, I really want this trailer probably here, but I also need to fill it up. So here's another good spot to fill up trucks here, and this is what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this gas station because it's the same price as Erska River. Um, so we're going to do that for sure. And then I'm, I'm going to need another fuel truck somewhere and I'm going to have to fill up this carrier, too. So this might be a job we do with a ramp lab bed, with maybe an, a Zix or something like that. Who knows? No, I didn't take a COVID dust. I have been drinking some, some tea, yeah. The tea has helped for sure. I've been drinking like cam chamomile tea sometimes, and then like, you know, honey, lemon. Man, I'm gonna tell you something crazy, man. I think I said this other day on stream, like I went to the gym on Monday. At Tuesday, I just felt too bad. I just couldn't. It was, I just felt super weak. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna get anything done or make any type of like progress. I'm gonna be just wishing I was not there. Um, Monday, uh, I was doing like chest flies, just getting kind of like preparing just to go do, go do bench press. And uh, I leaned over to like change the weight. And when I leaned over, I'm legitimately water was just like flowing out of my nose. It was like my my sinus just completely like released. And I was like, what in the world just happened? It was so odd. But, I mean, I think it wasn't last night, the night before, I think it was Tuesday night. And it's always the worst, like, in the morning and then at night, like, right when you're about to go to bed. That's when it just crushes you. So I, I was trying to go to sleep and my, I couldn't breathe out of either nostril. I was like, yeah, we're going to take something. So I took some Afrin just so I can breathe for the night. The Jeep Apocalypse 6x6? I don't think I've ever even seen that truck. Man, here, here's the thing about me, is, um... I'm very new to, like, the truck space. Like, super new. Um... I didn't play any of these games prior to SnowRunner. Uh, you know, I played, like, World of Warships, World of Warcraft somewhat competitively 
wouldn't say like too crazy. What the heck is going on with you? Oh yeah, boil some water, yeah. Maybe I should take one. Maybe I will take one today. I think I do have a COVID test in my in my medicine cabinet. Maybe I will. Actually, I probably actually yeah, I probably should because I'm supposed to go to work tomorrow for training and uh Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do that later today, actually. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to be that guy. Ugh. Kind of annoying. I can't hook up to this. We wouldn't have to come back for it. Man, the bandit's not bad with balance whenever you don't have the crane on. <laughs> kind of funny. The flex is good, too. I know there's a lot of people out there just... They use the bandit and it just, like, it flips on them a lot. Probably pretty frustrating. That's the thing though, man. If a truck is good at using a low saddle, that solves a lot of issues with balance. You just learn how to uh, create angles. I'm like a broken record when I say that, but it's, it's so true. Okay, so. I'm just gonna park, park him like this on the side real quick, being kinda, kinda out of the way. That's fine. All right, 681 time. Um, breach detected. Repair the car, no. That is for a different truck, which I'm going to purchase. Or not purchase, but I will um, bring over. Reverse only challenge? Oh, goodness, man. I do know someone who, uh, who actually had points like streamer points that you could uh or stream points that you could redeem where he would actually drive either first person or in or, or in like reverse so uh you know what i need to do this i feel like i'm gonna hit that car Go. Hold up, you know what I can do? Just give me a second. I think not blocks. Bare minimum. No. No. These are all different. Cool. Okay, so you know what? I might actually grab some cargo. That goes... I'm going to this side of the map. So I think it would be... It would behoove me to grab some cargo from here. Cement, oil, concrete blocks. 
two concrete blocks. There. What's the plant restoration? Needs four cement. Actually, you know what? Four cement. And I can grab two concrete blocks from there. And that's pretty much... Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna do that. Sorry, guys. This is like essentially what you have to do on hard, hard mode. It's just trying to plan. If you're somewhere... I don't know. There's like an order of operations. I, I usually do, but... I don't know. Hard mode's different. You just want to try to get everything. You try not to run around with the empty truck as much as possible. Ugh. So yeah, a vehicle I'm going to bring over here shortly through the gateway is going to be... Oh man, it's probably going to be a Dan. It's a essentially just a repair vehicle, tanker. And the good thing is, is there's a fuel station up here to, re to refuel his tanker, which he needs. It's He's kind of getting low. And then also... Um, have to repair this truck up here, which will be good because he needs a refuel and he also needs to repair this truck up here for this task. And then I'll have a repair vehicle for my trucks here, which I definitely need in some form. You know what they should do, man? They should make it so you can use... Oh gosh, yeah. Repair vehicle, need it. They should make it so whenever you have a repair trailer, you can re-up re, like, re -up your... Um, Roof racks. Okay, so let's see here. I need... Four. I need concrete block. Appreciate that, Birdman. Thank you. Yeah, I'm pretty much always open to suggestions, honestly. I haven't played it more. Oh my gosh, it's been since like June of 2021 when I first played it. So. So I'm going to tell you something we are going to do as well. Um, there's some rocket parts up here that have middle beams. I'm going to grab those too. I'm going to take those. Okay, yeah. I appreciate that, man. I usually just play single player. <clears throat> Even though I, I definitely know that um, multiplayer is the bomb. Yeah, we're going to stop here and get some gas. Just to top it off. You got all the oil fields in, in Michigan region up and running. Nice, man. Good job. Oh no, wrong, wrong, wrong spot. Oops. Ooh. 
Nice, so you're making your way pretty well, that's good. So, we'll do a little overloading here. Try to scavenge as much as I can. One second, I need to grab my phone just in case I get a call. Sorry, you're probably gonna hear my my controller go nuts like it always does. Okay, so there's the rocket parts. I believe, yeah. What the heck am I doing? Yo, what's up, Tremor? The 681, you don't have all the upgrades for it yet. Still getting started. You bought the 680 and really like it. Okay. What? When you say you don't have the upgrades for it, do you mean like you're low level? Like what's, what's your level? This is a more, by the way. Yes. Yes, Whitefield. This is uh, Cherno Kamensk, which is either the third or the fourth map. Basically, whatever way that you play the game, you can say it's the third or the fourth. Pretty much. Okay. Alright. You're level 12? Oh, that's right, yeah. I think you need to be like level 13 or 14 for upgrades or something like that. I know with the DLC vehicles, it's, it's all like level requirements. Which, personally, I like. Um, because you, you level up faster than you progress through maps, in my opinion. I think, like, uh, for instance, I think a vehicle that should have been a, uh, oops, a level up requirement upgrade was, I think, the, the Transtar. I think it's, it's upgrade for its race suspension kit should have definitely been like a level requirement. I think some, like, I don't know. This is a huge, huge topic here, but I, I don't know. I think if you're going to add upgrades to existing trucks in the game, um, they should be just level requirements. You shouldn't have to, like, run to a huge, like, a completely different map, like, multiple phases down the road just to get a, an upgrade that's really not that powerful. Yeah, I kind of figured this was going to happen. That's all right. It's fine. It's fine. We'll just spin it. stack. Yeah, there we go, boys. Looks good. Now, we just got an off flip over. Look at the plant. Okay, so this will eliminate the concrete blocks, the metal beams, the cement. 
And then we'll go over, we'll disconnect this trailer. Um, head over and do the, the low saddle trailers mission. There's two of them. There's also a car we have to deliver. Lots of good stuff, man. I'm actually really surprised I've gotten through this far, so I did not expect this. Wow, man, this is awesome. I really expected to be straight up stuck. This is freaking great. It's one well, man. Thank you. I'm just uh, feeling a little bit under the weather today. Well, I've kind of been this last week. Other than that, we're doing well. Appreciate it, man. Hope you're doing well as, as well. Yeah, I don't know if they're allergies. I don't really think I have allergies, to be quite honest. Well, the dead axe is probably killing me right now. No, no, no. Not hit that. All right, we'll bypass this fuel stop here and just continue. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do something real quick. We're gonna do something something different here. Alright, so we have a prediction. Predict whether or not this is a... You can earn channel points by doing a prediction. Do you guys think I'm going to flip over here? With the 681. So on the prediction, you can actually... Uh, it's in the channel. You can... Click predict and then choose. And if you win, no, I got this. There's 29 seconds remaining on the prediction. Got one person that's done it so far. 30 more seconds. 10K? Somebody bet 10K? What? Send it. My goodness, man. Oh, what? when it does that. Okay, wait, 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 no, come back. Come back, come back. That's good. No! <laughs> 
Should have put the prediction, is my cargo going to fall off? That's what I should have put. Stay on the cab. Don't break my suspension, please. That's all I care about right now. Myself. Yes, nice. <laughs> nice. So, what is this? Five, six, seven, eight pieces of cargo? Not too bad. And 10k, 10. <laughs> In hindsight, 10k might have been a gamble. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah, we'll finish the prediction when I get there. <laughs> Let's switch the cabin view. Oh shoot. It's gonna catch me there. Alright, let's see if I can wrap up this prediction here. See if we can wrap this up. All right. Let's see. Okay. For some reason it's not giving me the, the end. Oh, here we go. Choose outcome. All right. Prediction results are in. I did not flip. Let's see who won. Did anybody vote too? Let's see details. We had two people vote. Two voters only. Come on, guys. We need we need participation here. We need participation. All right, let's unload this. Okay, nice. But you could still make up. Thing you had ten thousand points. That's crazy, yo. Don't worry, more will be coming. More will be coming. Okay, nice. Dang, there's only a couple left. This is good. Should have saved my points to spend. Improv merch. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're buying hats and stuff. So. 
All right, guys, we are going to we're gonna head over here. I'm going to grab this trailer, which is empty. I'm going to pick up two metal rolls. I'm going to pick up this dream car. We're going to head back, drop these off here or the, the um, metal rolls. So then we only need bricks, right? After that, we'll drop off the dream car and then we'll drop off the. Uh, the um, what's it called the trailer as well. So let's uh, let's do that. Detach. Restore. I need to make sure I grab some fuel before I head out. Alright. We'll do... Not a prediction. But we'll do a poll. Okay. Okay. Here's the poll. Should I continue using continue with the tasks with CT 681 or or do we start start logging? Okay. Okay, there's I'm gonna put a two minute timer on this. Actually, I'll put a five minute the three minute timer, I'll put a five minute timer. Okay. There we go. You can go ahead and vote. So everyone in the chat, you can go vote for free. Voting gives you 200 points, 200 channel points. So I think it's worth it. There's nothing to lose. But while the five minute timer is running, we're gonna go start this task. through here. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. And it looks like we can. It's good. Take the right. Get to the sawmill. No, we're not going that fast, so we'll just put it in diff lock and just let it slowly grind this out. Anyone want to use a 681 on a more? Either this is like giving you confidence or a huge deterrent. One of the two. Let's go up here, grab all this junk. So the bricks, I'm gonna have to either salvage those. Um, salvage, go back, or I think you can create those as well.
I hate crafting. Did I say that before? I hate it. Spies it. Okay, poll is closing. Get your votes in. It's closing in, looks like a minute, so. this thing to like hyperdrive these will bust your suspension up that is that is a fact right here these ones right here definitely oh you gotta be kidding me a hundred percent of people said logs what? You guys are ruthless, man. No one... You guys like watching logs? Is that, is that real life? Only four votes. But you guys are slacking. Only four votes total. You guys are slacking. Okay, well... After we do this, these two tasks, we'll go start logs. That's going to require me to go get the P12, I think. I'm going to go bring the P12 over. I'm going to bring that uh, long log attachment. It's going to require this vehicle here. Logging crane. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be some work. Okay, so let's check this out real quick. It's called heavy duty goes to there. Dream car goes to there. Okay. Copy copy. Got it. Let's go. So this is the dream car right here. We'll pick this up, throw him on top of this bed, pack him in. Take both of these. And I also need to pick up uh, two metal rolls here. Perfect. Almost. Looks good. Skirt. 
metal rolls, we need... There's no bricks. Okay, metal rolls, we need two. Cool, let's go. I guess we're gonna start logs here. I wonder if I should just uh just nix that whole pole. Logs suck. Okay, gonna go slow. I don't want to bust my stuff up. Especially that I don't have a repair vehicle over here yet. down the hill. Dude, what, in the, what was that? Seriously. Come on, give me a bite. There we go. My, my question is, why the heck would you drive a CK-1500 in a moor with some highway tires on it? Like, why would this be over there? Oh, look, the sun's coming out. You can see the sun, like, moving the shadows. Dang, that's quick, though. Look how quick that is. to go to the restrooms i will be right back and yeah we'll say about 60 seconds so uh yeah we'll be right back
Okay, we're back. Let's uh, finish this one up and then, uh, yeah. We'll start doing logs per request. Axles are definitely grabbing. You just can tell, though. Is it down? Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> I had my suspension down. <laughs> What an idiot. You know, it, it's seriously so hard to tell. It's like we were talking about the other day. Every time you get into a truck, you have to check the suspension. That's kind of bad on me. Especially like the Azov. Like you got to get in and check if the active is even like in the upright position or in the downright. I should have been checking there. That's so stupid. Gosh, it feels so much better now. Let's drop this off. I gotta say that, man, this thing does not turn very well. It's not a great turning radius. Do I need to actually put? We'll do the dream car first, and then we'll basically backtrack to this place right here to drop this off because I'm gonna have to come back to this area anyways with this vehicle. After we do both of these, we'll jump into. We'll try to get a logging setup going. Yo, Landon, welcome in, man. Oh, 
gosh, I'm always so afraid of these things. Well, I am finishing this task right now, and then I did a channel poll um, for the chat, and they all voted that I start logs. So after we finish up these two tasks here, which will be in pretty much the next five minutes, um, yeah, we're going to start getting set up for some logs, sadly. I don't know why I created that, that poll, but yeah, that's what everybody voted on. Do I still plan on starting a Discord? Yes, I am, actually. I'm just going to have to allocate some time to uh, get some help from people that, are, that have Discords, so... Could be a could be a good thing. I could do some reaction videos where you know people link some of their um, unfortunate moments, and we do some reaction videos. So that be could be something we do. Ah. Uh. Oh, Landon, you know stuff about, uh, Discord, huh? Nice, man. I use it quite a bit, but not in the sense that for my own channel. But, yeah. People demand a revote. Really? We can we can do a revote. Does, that, does everybody want to do a revote? All right. Here's what we'll do. Check this out. We'll do a poll. If we should revote or what I should do next after this. Okay. How about that? Let's do manage poll. Okay. New poll. All right, here we go. It's going to be a two minute poll, so please get your votes in. Two minute poll starting now. Two minute poll. Do we revote on what we should do next? Get your votes in. Get your votes in. Don't worry, you're not going to lose points. It's just voting. If it was a prediction, that's where you can bet. Nice little wooden planks here. I'll probably get stuck on them, you know. I do like this though. This is a good touch. I'll probably get stuck. Maybe not. Oh, you know what? Stop for a second. I'm going to sap some of his fuel. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. Many thanks. Good work. Must be handsomely paid for. Nice. Five. Almost 6k. That's good. We'll just turn this sucker around. 
Try to thread between these trees. Can't do it. It's fine. Alright, poll is closing. If you haven't gotten your vote and get it in, hurry up. You got like 30 seconds left. 10. And the poll is closed. Let's see. Ooh. People voted on the revote. We only have three votes. Where are you guys at? All right, we're revoting. Okay, here it is. Here's a new poll. Logs or PT681. Okay. Logs. CT681. Alright, here we go. Here's another poll. Get your votes in. Okay, the, the poll is up. Get your votes in on what you guys think we should do. Last time, they voted to do the logs. So that's what we were going to do. That's what we're currently going to do, unless it gets overturned by the good people in the uh, N Province stream here on, on Twitch. So get your votes in. Because if it doesn't pass, we have to do logs, which. Ugh. Not real fond of. And I do have a lot of logistics to set up to do that, so. is going to take me a second to get through this. All right, got like about a minute left on the poll, so make sure you vote, guys. Just remember, you cannot complain about what I'm doing if you did not vote. Oh, come on. Here we go. through here potentially okay poll is closing hope you guys got your vote in shoot don't get stuck here please don't get stuck here oh so only three people voted okay we're doing the 681 then no logs Maybe next stream we'll, we'll dig into the logs or something, which actually is honestly, it's kind of coming up soon. After I do these plant restorations and stuff like that, after the task, I'm, I'm going to pretty much get on to logs. Come on, baby, let's go get out of here. Alright, thank you all for who voted. Appreciate it. There will be more of those and more predictions coming in the future for sure. I'm trying to do a little bit more engagement here on the channel. Alright, so this goes up to here. I go back to here. And yeah, that's what we do. So Dan, you guys might must be uh, liking liking the 681 here no more. <laughs> it's not doing bad though. If there's any map to use this vehicle, it's it's definitely this one. Wait, no, it's up here. I don't know why I thought it was in this little complex here, but it's not.
right? Second task here. I gotta do another... Another task with one of these things. Okay. Great, you saved us. We owe you one, and maybe, maybe even more than one. Sweet, 5400. Experience doesn't even matter. We're max level. We'll take the cash. Okay, so next one. What we're gonna do is nothing to see here. That's gonna come back up to this town. Um. So what we'll essentially do. I'm gonna actually mark this out, to be quite honest. We're gonna go this way. Uh do I have a do I have a stop for gas anywhere? You know what? I do have a stop for gas. It's pretty much here. This is why I need to bring another fuel tanker in here. I don't have any support on this side, hardly. And I also need to fill up um these tankers too. So that's gonna have to be something I do here soon. Kind of getting low, but I think we'll be okay for this. So we'll go in here, grab some fuel, come back out, peel up this way, come up back to the road, uh, come down here. Actually, I could take this trail and then come down. You know, we'll do that. That sounds interesting enough. We'll come up through here. through here down through here and then I think I can get up to here what's my thoughts on river runner boats and all types of water vehicles oh man I don't know I don't know the thing is I don't you would have to have a big audience for that the only thing is I don't know how you would make that game as in depth as like a game like SnowRunner is. Oh my goodness. That's what I was trying to avoid. Just use a boat? Yeah. You could just use a boat. Honestly, they have boats. There's, I'm pretty sure there's mods in this game that have, they're basically boats. All right, let's uh, fill up here, refuel. Dang, I need to get some fuel over here, like ASAP. Good thing is, though, it's a pretty efficient truck, which it helps. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Like delivering boats and stuff like that, that'd be kind of cool. That definitely would be cool. Oops. Yeah, 
Man, I can't believe I have the, uh, the dead axle down. Kind of comical. Kind of sad as well. We get boats, you want trains? Ooh, that'd be kind of... Honestly, moving like train parts and stuff. I mean, we have... There is a lot of train tracks. There is a lot of... Train stations. In this game. That would be kind of cool. Ugh, ugly stuff here. Well, no, I think you would essentially just have to add missions that are pertaining to delivering trains and like getting back up like a train system, kind of like we did in Wisconsin, but just have special cargo that, like, I don't know, you're delivering a, oh gosh, like a locomotive. Do you know what I'm saying? Like an actual locomotive on, I don't know, a five slot or a special mission cargo trailer of some sort. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, Honestly, if you think about it, like, where are the sequoias? Like, are there any sequoias in Wisconsin at all? That's my question. I don't think there is. I think sequoias are out, out west. Like, where are those? We haven't had those since season three. That's another, another one, is actually. Uh, so... Good. I'm trying to think how I I go up this way. It's like I see something. No, that goes up that way. This uh, I go right here. It's like it's like here-ish. Yeah. My memory is coming back. This is actually a pretty good little gully. It gets to be a nice drive when you go up there with those, uh, those logs are. Ooh. Hey man, little truck do big things right now. Little truck does big things right now. I like this part of the map, man. It's sick. myself here once again we'll take a different route actually we're gonna go we'll go this way we'll come down this hill come this way this way I wonder if I can get over this ice you know what I'm not gonna do that go across the bridge and essentially yeah yeah we know where to go from there
Alright, so what do you guys think? Am I stupid for using this vehicle here? Should I be using something better? What do y'all think? No polls involved. Or I could do a poll <laughs> to make it completely anonymous. Oh, come on. It's kind of working. There we go. Kind of working. Another little sticky part here. Which is good to get this out of my system. <laughs> Play a NA truck here on a moor when you can, because it's, it's when we go to NAI, it's going to be straight up Russian trucks non-stop. Oh, I kind of want to grab that, but right, we'll just leave that there. You could go down there and then go across that little ice bridge right there. But I know I'll get stuck. I know essentially my head axle will get stuck there. There's no reason. Come on, man. I just wanted to tap this. Am I rusty or something? Goodness. Don't get stuck here. Nice. Oh. Dorito madness down here. Speaking of Doritos, man, I want some like Cool Ranch Doritos right now. Actually, you know what? Like back in the day, they had Taco Bell Doritos, which were legit.
How many missions will this be? I think it's like, what? Let's see. I did... Four slot cargo mission. Uh... I'm trying to think what else. I was kind of doing a little bit of other contracts too as well, but I think this will be four total. It's crazy how long it takes you just to do four tasks in the game. Coming up on two hours here. Sorry, sir. Let's go high gear. Let's go. That's what I like to see, man. Right there. That's what I like to see. Playhouse. It's like a weird, really weird slide. Okay. Okay. Oops. Nice. Wow, you are good. Wow, you're good. I can really use it, but let's make a deal. No one has to know about this trailer, okay? Gotcha, dude. Shoot. Dang. Coming up on breach detected. This I can essentially do when I start doing logs, which this needs to be done too. Actually. What is on this ramp trailer? I think these are concrete blocks, but I just delivered these. Oh shoot. I just delivered concrete blocks. Let's see if I need those anywhere else. Sawmill. Need two there. Plant. Just need four bricks. There's only two bricks here. Okay, wait, there's four bricks. I can get three bricks right there. Okay. That actually might set me up to complete the plant and then sawmill. Let's see, sawmill will have. I still need a lot here. I still need a ton. Still need a lot there. Yeah. Trying to do so many things at once. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. Okay, cool his engine's off. I need to go over and see what's up with the Dan. He might have to get repositioned. Oh yeah, I think so. Let's see if how much repairs does he have? 940. Hmm. Trying to think here. Yeah, I probably should just take him right now. That's what we'll do. Bring him over to this map. Bring him over there to repair that... That little car or whatever for that task. Fill him up with gas. And then get him into a position. Maybe I'll grab one of those trailers and tow it along and fill it up too. We just gotta get him doing something. I need more support over there as well.
Sweet. Okay, we'll drive down, grab this trailer here as well. I'll lug both of these trailers um, up here, get gas, do this mission here, and then we'll have at least another trailer filled. We're gonna go off to the side here because I think it's a little bit less deep. Yeah. Better winch points too. Shoot. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see, let's do this. Oh, this part right here is just Drives me nuts. Drives me nuts, man. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's grab this trailer in here. Fill her up. Yo, what's up, Zor? Welcome in, man. Yeah, I was playing that, yeah. I actually thought about playing that today, but... Um, I was too interested in trying to get some uh, progress here. Man, I love that. It's a good challenge, for sure. And it's all it just feels, feels good, actually. It makes Alaska feel very new. But it, I mean, it's the same old Alaska, right? Same, same tasks, contracts, etc. But it just looks so different.
You tried it with all the snow maps? Really? How was it on a moor? Same experience, just a different texture. Ah, I see, okay. Oh, different mesh, okay. Yeah, man, it does. I can't put my finger on it if it's... Sometimes it feels like it's easier because there's not a snow texture at some points. But then sometimes it feels exact same. I, I don't know, it's weird. I don't know, it's kind of messing with me. Some spots they just feel... But also, I'm only using highway tires, so it like... I probably need to like... <laughs> Do some testing with actual like tires on my vehicle. But I mean it plays awesome. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Lazy modders. <laughs> uh. I think that's probably what it is, is, is it's because I'm, I'm in highway tires, so it's like, it just feels... Feels different. Yeah, dude, that mod is awesome. That'd be crazy, man, if the devs, if you could, like, switch. Like, if you didn't complete this region in, like, a time setting, like, your seasons would, would change. That would be insane. I just don't think it could handle it. I don't think that it could even be a thing. But it sounds kind of cool, right? Come on, man. Come on, Mr. Trailer. Yeah, I didn't think it did. I didn't think it would support that. That'd be insane if it did though, right? How crazy would that be? Like think about playing a moor where you cross the ice as like a skip in some spots. And then you come back like, I don't know, a week later I'm not playing the game and then you're just in like springtime and everything's melted you're like uh-oh what do i do really i knew that was gonna be a tough spot Oh man, it would be a whole new game. And it'd be quite incre quite incredible actually. But not worth the headache, yeah. So being that it does remove the physical snow, Dave, that would essentially mean in theory that a more would be quite, I don't want to say easy, but it would be easier. Because I think from what you showed me, isn't the layering on a more just a lot of snow and less, uh, less mud texture? Is that correct? It was easier for sure when you tried it out? Yeah. 
Honestly, man, that might be something. But there's still tons of mud. Yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. That's legit, though. So maybe that's probably honestly, man. Like I was thinking about it, that's probably why that on on the uh, springtime Alaska challenge thing I have going with the randomizer. That's probably why. Um. I'm not having as many issues on highway tires. I think they're just because they're taking out the snow texture. And then all that's left is just the essentially the mud. Experience in Alaska was a lot of mud, yeah. out this task here. That's gonna blow my tire. It's just a little rut around here. All right. Repair. Nice. You're an ace. Everything looks good now. So, boy. So we will proceed. Nice 5K. Sucks though because there's only like 500 left in here. That's okay. I think we'll, we're getting the use out of it. Yeah, it does feel. It definitely does feel a little bit weirder without the snow texture. But I think it's it's very enjoyable. Let's go get some gas. to this other tanker and fill it up too as well. Nice, let's go. Yeah, it is. It is a very interesting mod. I think it's really fun. I mean, like, I'm not going to lie sometimes, like, when I'm playing it, I don't feel like I'm in Alaska. Like, it's weird, like... You'll be you'll be driving 
and you just kind of like forget about what you're doing. And you're like looking around like, wow, this looks cool. And then like, you kind of remember, hey, this is Alaska. Because you have to remember your tasks, your contracts, all that stuff. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of interested to see what Mountain River looks like. That's going to be pretty cool to see. Yeah, just to, it just looks something that's new. Oh, let's see here. 3,000. That's okay. 3,500. That's okay as well. Yo, Dan Dozen, thank you so much for that raid, man. Appreciate it. Welcome in. How was your stream? Snow Dawn? So then how would that work, Dave? Chilo Zersk. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. I totally understand. And raid and run, it's all good, brother. All good. I know the struggle when you want to get off stream, get off the game, get off the computer, go get food. <laughs> Alright brother, have a great day at work, we'll see ya. Thank you for that raid as well. <laughs> Chillo Zersk, that's funny. So then the thing is like, snow time on the dawn? Dude, wouldn't that just make it miserable? Like, adding that texture? On... On Terra's no. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yo, Ontario would be kind of cool with snow, actually. Because... be real, Ontario is really not that hard. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not. I think that there was, like, a small layer... of snow added. It really wouldn't be bad at all. You'd have to reduce the mud levels to compensate? Yeah, I, I think so. That's pretty much what Dawn is. It's just a ton of mud. Sweet. Well, I think that is it for me today as well. Um... I hate to get a raid, someone coming with a raid and then I bounce, but yeah, that's my time. I'm, I'm at two hours and 15 minutes. Um, I think not, I think in two weekends, whenever my wife goes out of town, we're going to do our five hour stream and it's going to be on YouTube actually. So, um, I know I've said this pretty much every stream, like there will be an announcement for that. We'll do the five hour stream. It'll probably be like a variety. Probably play some SnowRunner. I'll probably jump on some WoW or some World of Warships or something like that. We'll do it up. So it's going to be the, the thank you stream five hours because, yeah, normal streamers tend to stream like five to eight hours. And yeah, just kind of tough for me at the, at the, at the current moment. So anyways, y'all, it's been great. It's been fun, but I'm going to bounce. Um, y'all have a wonderful day and a wonderful rest of your week. I'm not sure when I'm going to stream next. I believe I work all weekend. And I have family coming in, so we might... Maybe maybe Monday or Tuesday, who knows. But um, Or there might be something in between. If I can get my hands on the, uh, the new DLC that drops tomorrow, the Mastodon. So we might actually jump in here and purchase it on hard mode and get it going. Do some testing and uh, yeah, get some first looks on it, but... We will have a review on that as well, but it's going to take some time to do some testing and stuff like that. Who knows? Saber might change things after they drop it. So that is not something they haven't done before. So anyways, it's been great. I'll talk to you guys later. As always, God bless and stay upright. We'll see you later.